Vernacular building is the traditional and natural way by which communities house themselves. It is a continuing process including necessary changes and continuous adaptation as a response to social and environmental constraints. Temple House portrays a modern vernacular Chinese architecture that was originally built in Qing Dynasty and it was restored in 2015 as a combination of the Tianshi Courtyard and modernized building. The facade of the Temple House is adapting waving and brocade elements to feature a series of pierced brickwork pattern with weave window and brick panels. It is to represent the most glorious Sichuan period of more than 2,000 years. Keep and gable roof that portray unity of their ancestry allow the people of China to unite and sharing a common community under the same roof. Chinese believes that extending the roof curving and rising upwards at the end can achieve harmonious with the mother nature and spirits that honor heaven and preside over the earth to achieve balance in between. Chinese architecture is using an interlocking system called Dou Gong or cap and block. Several arms of gong sticking out and bent outwards to support another Dou creates a unique structural element of interlocking wooden brackets. Pieces are fixed together by only the joints made in the wood. Chinese entrance gate reflects social status and ranking of the owner. Chinese entrance gate should be located at the eastern part of the south side as to conform with the belief of feng shui. The Rui entrance gate comes with two red doors open to reveal the formal bollywood showing the linearity. Temple House is adopting the symbolic latest work which is characterized as a far-reaching influence defined by an individual's economic status. This work is fully utilized as classic antique partition in Chinese ornamentation. The configuration of Si He Yuan generates a strong axial layout in a symmetrical plan with an enclosed white space in the middle. The southern building received the least sunlight, therefore it functions as servants' dwelling for family gathering, as well as reception hall in temple house layout. To reflect the traditional Chinese family hierarchy, the wing rooms that place on the outer east and west of the quadrangle were used as bedrooms for children. Compared to the layout of Si He Yuan, the courtyard gardens of the temple house are bordered by two L-plan medium-rise buildings serving as hotel rooms and apartments on the east and west. The Tianshi courtyard building at the corner of the site being the anchor and entrance point for the hotel. The key spaces are made around the central courtyard with similar consideration of public and private area, where the reception hall and primary entrance are located facing south with gradual privacy towards the backyard rooms facing north. According to threefold structure of the universe in Chinese philosophy, the three spheres of origin, San Tai, are Tian, Di, and Ren. The temple house reception area and spa area embedded Asian philosophy according to the classic of changes. There is a metaphor of the old cosmos view, heaven was circular and the earth was square. The lush glass top undulating landscape of these courtyards are reminiscent of the terrace paddy fields found on Sichuan steep hillsides. Resemblance of the rice paddy motifs in the light wells are embedded in the courtyard layer where it is organically shaped in plan and step in section when seen from beneath. Woman facade is constructed using brick, step stone and wood correspond to Bi Tianshi political status to symbolize their superiority. The temple house is adopting roof clay tiles to represent their status as a wealthier and standard country. Wood framework system is applied throughout the temple house without any technology back then that relies on skills and belief. 